Dallas is known for its sporting events and food, making it the perfect place to visit in Texas. This is Katie from Creative Travel Guide, and today we share the things to know before you go to Dallas. Looking for more travel tips? Make sure to hit subscribe and ring that notification bell. So first, let's look at the best time to visit. The best time to visit Dallas is from September to November, when there aren't too many tourists around and temperatures aren't too hot. Visiting in early spring is also a lovely time to visit as the wildflowers are in bloom. August is the hottest month, so avoid this time if possible. The coolest temperatures are from November to February, whilst April and May can see thunderstorms and tornadoes. So now let's look at getting there. With two major airports in the city, you can catch a direct flight for more than 240 destinations, both domestic and international. From Europe, you could fly from cities such as Amsterdam, London, Dublin, Frankfurt, Madrid, and Rome. Whilst you could fly domestically for many cities in the USA, with most flights taking under four hours. You could also catch the Texas Eagle Amtrak route that runs from Chicago to Los Angeles, stopping at St. Louis, Dallas, and San Antonio along the way. So now let's look at getting around. DART is the light rail system that runs throughout Dallas, offering trips from 4 a.m. to midnight, with daily passes available from $6. If you stick to the major sites in the downtown area, you can get around Dallas without using a car, but many prefer to drive around the city, especially for those wanting to see the sites further afield or for visiting the fantastic shopping centres nearby. However, make sure you can park your car at your hotel as there is very little street parking available. So now let's look at the typical prices. There are plenty of hostels available in Dallas with dorms on the outskirts starting at around $30 a night. Budget hotels start at around $100, whilst more luxurious hotels cost around $300 a night in the downtown area. Public transport is affordable in Dallas with a one-way trip costing $2.50, whilst the streetcar costs $1.00. Breakfast can start around $10, with sit-down lunches ranging from $10 to $25. An evening meal for two costs around $60, whilst meals at Asian and Mexican restaurants can be slightly cheaper. Dallas can be an expensive place to visit, but of course there are ways to save money. Free attractions include sites like the Dallas Museum of Art, Fair Park and the Farmer's Market, all making great options for those on a budget. Exploring the different neighbourhoods is another free attraction itself and make sure to check out the variety of street art in the art district. Head to downtown Dallas to see plenty of photo spots like the Reunion Tower and the Old Red Museum. Hotels in downtown Dallas are expensive so either stay in a hotel near I-635 or book an apartment via Airbnb. As with most US destinations, the public transport is going to work out cheaper than taxis and there are plenty of happy hours to choose from too. You can also eat cheap in Dallas as well. Head to the Asian restaurants for cheaper options or eat at the many food trucks around the city. So now let's look at the best things to do in Dallas. When you aren't trying all of the food and watching the sports, there are plenty of other attractions to explore. Learn more about the JFK assassination at the Sixth Floor Museum before appreciating the Reunion Tower. Take the McKinney Avenue trolley and then take a stroll around Clyde Warren Park. Watch the Dallas Cowboys at the AT&T Stadium and visit one of the many museums such as the Dallas Museum of Art and the African American Museum. 
Watch this video before you plan a trip to the state of Texas. Then to find out the 20 best things to see and do in America, watch this video. We hope you have an incredible time in Dallas and stay creative.